It's a great achievement to think that he won a thousand matches in the open ranks. Is just it's quite incredible. There are some landmarks few players will ever reach. It's that deep feeling you have inside of yourself that you're just very proud and you feel like all the hard work has all come and paid off. One man continues to make tennis history. You run out of superlatives to, to describe Roger. Just the best player in the world. Keeps the, you know, chalking up the records. His longevity is just amazing. Sweetly timed. Just one of those guys that has the whole package. I mean, really, it's, he's, a, he's a good guy. What he just did at 33 years old, 34 next year, he just, just uh, great, believable. Oh, can you believe that? He's been so great to tennis. Everybody loves Roger, the way he plays, the way he acts on the court uh, as a sportsman. The longer he stays in tennis, the better it is for tennis. I'm sure from his point of view, he, he wants to win another, wants to win his 18th major, and, then, and I think he can. At some stage, we're going to look back and, and, um, and reflect on his career, but he ought to stay fit for so long. He's been blessed with great physical abilities and hand-eye coordination. He's sort of got the package. Yeah. Yeah, it's much better. The level that he still plays uh, consistently, um, being in shape, being motivated, we're all watching something pretty special. Oh, yes. Finishing in fine style. He is a sporting phenomenon. I don't know what he's got in his own mind and how long he wants to play, but if he keeps moving like he did last year, why wouldn't you carry on? He's enjoying himself. Now he's got two sets of twins at home. Stay on the road. Keep playing. Uh, you're a long time retired. 1,000 match wins and counting. Congratulations, Roger.